Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, April 20th, 2017, and we're very excited to have in the studio with us today, Terry Maltz. Take it away.
Live. Audio Tree Live with Terry Maltz. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I know it was a brutal drive, so we really appreciate you guys making the totally. trek and doing this. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thanks Dude. for your patience. No, no problem. Were no those problem. real claps or were those canned claps? Uh, they're real. Oh, they're that's real. great. There's only a few of them, but they're real. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw online, speaking of claps, I saw online a funny guy. I might be duped. I might have gotten duped by this. Mm. But did Jason Alexander really have a bumper sticker of your guys? Or was that straight Photoshop and I got that, fooled? That was me practicing at Photoshop. Well, you did a very good job. Because there was like a normal looking kid like in the like reflection. So I was like, yeah. that could just be like an average dude taking that photo. So. Yeah. Yeah, I really thought that was for a second. Are you guys big Seinfeld fans yourselves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were just quoting just Seinfeld quoting on the way here. Yeah. Were you? Awesome. Yeah. I guess the long the drive was long enough to, to quote the whole the whole thing. We <laughs> were guess, quoting right? Frank Costanza once we got into town. You know, yeah. a bit of the Serenity now, what have you? That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because I was I was also curious. Like I know it's kind of an off the wall weird question, but if you could have make an intro for any sitcom, what sitcom would it be? Do you think? Because I know that one's Ooh. so creative and interesting. I'm wondering what you guys would like to do. Elf. Elf? Definitely. Yeah. Elf. Yeah. All the way Elf. Yeah. yeah, and would it be like jingly or like do you have an idea of like how it would go? Or? No, I, it's the first time someone's asked me this. Yeah, it's, no it's a really it weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pretty off the wall thing, but yeah. Because I know you guys are also, I, I saw that you also were into some like uh, certain movies. I, I, the music video you've seen seemed kind of like horror filmish. And I know you did yeah. like a seven inch with like Charlie Manson's face with like makeup on it. <laughs> right. And I'm wondering if like if, if that's a thing you all collectively are into as well as horror films or just like any type of like spooky stuff like that. That Well, that Charles Manson thing was more of us. Uh, Parodying, yeah. Parodying, so you had like makeup like, on, right? Bands. Okay, yeah, I see. Sort I of see. Like defanging the like mm -hmm. Charles Manson myth. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, By yeah, saying, totally. Like, it's this image is not, you know, it's silly. Yeah, you know it's not I mean? like the all great thing that everyone kind of makes it out to be in a way. Yeah, it's just a weird thing when these mm -hmm. punk bands were massaged as a serial killer. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think as far as like horror films go, we I, I'd say we all enjoy that genre. Yeah, we did uh, watch uh, Microwave Massacre recently. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Microwave Massacre, recommend. highly recommended horror. <laughs> you would? <laughs> it, I would. I would describe it. If it's not horror, it's accidental John Waters. At least. <laughs> okay, that's it's, good it's enough that for bad. me. <laughs> good enough to it. sometimes it's so bad you kind of have to see it so i'm yeah. interested now yes definitely cool. if you have amazon uh streaming yeah and uh they paid me to say that uh <laughs> you can check it out on there cool sweet well y'all can roll that next song whenever you're ready okay
was so drunk we could not stay
live with Terry Maltz. Awesome. Sounding really good in here, guys. I just checked out the, the new LP, the newer LP, and it's great. I really dig it. And I know you guys took some time off to, to write that. I was wondering, during that time off, were you guys like super like stressing, trying to make sure you're doing a lot, staying proactive, writing, or was it more like we're just chilling and, and diving, d diving into our personal lives? Like how was that time off kind of spent? Mm, I would say it wasn't anything forced or, mm -hmm. or even... Um, it wasn't measured or planned. It, we, we were letting our lives happen naturally and just okay. trying to stay busy with the band. And the funny thing with our, our band is it seems to just have a momentum of its own. Like yeah. shows seem to land in our lap mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's, it's very natural. That's awesome. That's cool. And is that also how you approach the writing process as well? Because I know beforehand you were doing a lot of this yourself as far as recording. Yes. And this newer LP, you went to like a, a fancier studio, correct, to do this? Yeah, after yeah. we got... Uh, demos out and stuff. Mm -hmm. figured out when I was living in LA down where Corey lives. Yeah. Um, we had a lot more time to spend with each other making songs. Yeah. And is, is what are the pros and cons as far as like doing it yourself in your practice space or your own studio compared to going to that place? I think when you're first starting, it's a huge pro to be able to control it yourself, make it mm -hmm. the way that you want it to sound. And it's cheap. It's yeah. so cheap if you do it yourself. Yeah. Um, but I think you sort of can pigeonhole yourself if you just stay mm -hmm. lo-fi forever. And so yeah. one of the reasons we wanted to like do that with this album is because we had spent time writing it, and we thought mm -hmm. that would fit the songs to go to a studio. Mm. That's awesome. And Not I, just any studio. Yeah. Uh, Ruminator. True. And we wanted to work with Monty specifically okay. because he, to us, he gets it. Cool. It was he? Did he also mix your other stuff too? He right? did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And cool. he thought that guy is the closest thing the world has a George Martin in my mind. Really? He can create yeah. sounds like I, I mean, you could cut stuff live right here, and he could just shape it into like. Something I can totally see different. his cheeks blushing right now. <laughs> he also awesome. paid me to say that. I'm getting all my money <laughs> yeah, from you're, Amazon you're, and Monty. You're making a lot of cash in this in this little session here. Um, also, I know when this first started out, it was like a side project to you guys and. You had a, a band before this. And with that mentality of kind of being like lackadaisical and not really caring when writing and that kind of stuff, did you do you still carry that onward or is it more like you guys are taking this serious now? This actually the last record we put out was meant to be more of a marriage of the previous band and okay. and what cool. Terry Maltz started out to be. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. What so I guess the that's question? a yes. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're like kind of taking it more seriously than just yeah, a side definitely. project. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Obviously, you're on tour I mean, and doing great things. I mean, the instant that so. we found out we wouldn't be putting out the record ourselves, we kind of started taking it seriously. Yeah. Even though we're still goofballs and. Yeah. 
But now you've got like someone like giving you somewhat money or helping in some way to right. actually promote. So you got to be like, yeah, I guess yeah. we should have some responsibility. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds great, yeah. you guys. Thank that you. Sounds perfect. You guys remember one of those last two whenever you're ready? Sure. All right. Yeah. I see you smiling on the where I stay. I haven't felt this way since it was over the way. I used to be so down, I lay around in bed I play dead, waiting for the world to end Back in for a head, I hear you laugh And my heart grows another size I haven't felt this way since over another life I used to be so down, I piss out on my pride Crawl inside, but some things you just can't hide Even though I try to let you in Let you in live with Terry Maltz. Thanks again, guys, so much for coming in and, you know, making the trip. I know it was kind of rough, so I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, they're playing tonight at the Bee Kitchen, so if you're in Chicago, make sure you go check them out. Also, their new LP, Lost at the Party, is out now. Wherever you get your records, be sure to pick that up. I also want to thank the lighting and camera crew, everyone here at Audio Tree helps make this happen, yeah, the audio engineers. Guys. Uh, if you want to help support us and the band, you can do so by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see everyone next time. Cool. Thank you very much, everybody.